Hey, I'm super excited to do art with you again. Today we are going to start a art book. You're going to make your very own little art book. And what this art book will look at is uh, different concepts in art. Like, do you remember what happens when you mix blue and yellow? What about red and blue? Or yellow and red? Well, we're going to review that today. And then next time we'll review some other art facts and see what you remember. And we'll put it all down in our art book and that way you can save it and see years from now, what did I know when I was an art? So hopefully it'll be a super fun process. But before we get started, I want to share with you this fun little story that I found. So let's get to it. Mixed, a colorful story by Ari Chung. In the beginning, there were three colors, the yellows, the reds, and the blues. Reds were the loudest, la, 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 la. Yellows were the brightest, and blues were the coolest. Everyone lived in color harmony until one afternoon when a red said, Reds are the best. The yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. The colors decided to live in separate parts of the city. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue. And something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you. And I feel so calm when I'm near you. Yellow and blue became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant. But not all the colors were happy about it. Colors shouldn't mix. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. But yellow and blue loved each other so much they decided to mix. Together, they created a new color. They named her green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue, but really she was a color all her own. Everyone was fascinated. She's so cute. I've never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. Can I hold her? Soon, other colors mixed. The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon, other colors mixed. And mixed. And mixed. And mixed. There were so many new colors and a lot of new names. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Be careful, Jade. Have fun, Amber. The old neighborhoods of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. The new city was full of color. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. What you will need for this project are the PDF papers that I created to go along with it. You can find them below in the video description. You also need two pieces of white paper, scissors, glue, and something to color with. I'm going to cut these out on the dotted line. You want to make sure to get rid of that dotted line. And when you're cutting, if you notice, I try to stay on the dotted line and put my scraps up to the side. You don't want to hold on to the scraps and have a big long scrap hanging off of your scissors because that only makes it more difficult. Um, and as you notice, I cut that circle out before I actually started cutting it out on the line, which helps sometimes to cut it out of the big paper and get rid of that big paper and put it on a pile. Now don't work too fast. I did speed things up here for um, my cutting, but that's just so that way I don't bore you with my cutting. If at any time throughout our video you need to pause this and work at a different piece, that is perfectly fine. Sometimes when I do these videos, I speed them up so that way it doesn't bore you, but it doesn't mean that you need to work that fast. The first thing we will do is get our scraps out of the way, then we will take our first piece of white paper, as I said you will need two, but we'll take our first piece of white paper, we're going to uh, fold it long ways so that it's 
some people say it's like a hamburger bun and we're going to do that by matching up the corners and then pressing down the middle almost like you'd fold it to make like a birthday card for someone now we are ready to start gluing our pieces down make sure to set the uh, two of them to the side you want the one that says I learned there are three primary colors and then the three little circles get a scrap piece of paper to cover your table your glue stick and then cover the whole thing with your glue stick. Make sure to get the edges really, really well, and then you're going to put that down on your paper and press it down. You wanna make sure to press it down really good. Now, if you have a corner that's sticking up, like I have a corner that's sticking up there, you just pick it up and put a little bit of glue underneath and then push it back down. And then these little circles, you could draw circles on your paper if you don't want to glue them on. I will show you how to do it using these little circles and you can make a decision what you want to do. So I'm going to put glue on the back of each circle and then I will place it on my paper and rub it down. Sometimes people put glue on the paper they're gluing to and you do not want to do that. You always want to put the glue on the paper that will be glued on. So it goes on the back of the circle, not on my little booklet. Now we could just color these circles in and call it a day, but that's not very fun. So I thought it would be more fun if we made our circles look a little bit like the circles in the story that I read. So I'm going to draw some hats and eyes and smiles and legs and arms on these circles. Um, the first one there, I just drew a little slight smile for the brim of the hat and then an upside down U for the hat. Two circles for eyes and a U for a nose and then I fill in two little eyes. And then a nice, big, toothy grin. And then after you draw the smile, you can put on an arm and then just like three or four little uh, fingers and then two legs and um, I started making them like bird feet because that's how I draw my bird legs but I was like no what am I doing this needs little shoes so um, you can choose I mean I would suggest the little shoes they look much better than the bird feet on this particular thing then I just put a little bit of shading below them to show where the ground is next guy I'm just drawing a little hat on top that kind of looks like an almond and then another line below that and then a few lines that are going um, are to make it look like a cap. It kind of looks like it's going around his head. Two little lines, a smile, and then I fill in for some eyeballs and a nice little U for his nose. And of course, we go with the feet and legs again. And then I'll draw on some arms and little hands. And the last one, I'm going to draw a little bit more of like a small, taller hat. So a nice brim on that straight line. And then it goes up kind of like a little cowboy hat, but tiny. And then some lines going down and across it. Um, if you remember, they're vertical and horizontal lines. Um, and then so two little eyes, another you nose, and a nice smile, some little eyeballs, and again, little arms and fingers I like putting little dots on the end of their fingers I don't know why but I thought it looked really cute so you don't have to do that and then two little feet and a nice shadow below on the ground to show that he's standing there and then another arm and fingers and now it's time to color so we're going to use the three primary colors yellow first and then I will use blue, and then last I will use red. Now you have an option. Do you want to color your letters in? I'm going to color my letters in with the three primary colors, but obviously you do not have to, or you could use different colors. And you can also color your background. So all of these are different options that you can choose and make your project your very own creative creation. 
And now we're ready for our next page. So if you just open up that page, you see how there's like a back and a front. So essentially we're going to do our next page on the back of the area we just made our artwork. Remember, we're gonna put this into a book later. So I want to make sure that you guys do this on the back of the page we just created. So grab that little sign and a glue stick. You want your sign that says, and when those colors mix, and then you put glue all over the back of that, and you're going to press it down like we did before. Next, grab those three circles that are all interconnected, and you're going to put glue on those as well, all over the back. Then you're going to put them on your page and press them down as well. We are going to create these into little creatures like we did with your other creatures on your first page. I start by drawing a little cap with some lines on it going both horizontally and vertically. And then I draw two little eyes with eyebrows and a little nose and a smile, then legs and, a f and feet. And then after that, I want to do my little shadow down there below, my little guy, and then his arm sticking out waving. Starting on the next guy, I put two little eyes, a nose, smile, tiny little hat, and glasses. And then legs and feet again. And then on my last person, I want to do a little bit bigger of a hat with a little brim on it. And then... I um, am making some lines on the hat to show like kind of a straw type hat maybe. And then eyes, nose, eyebrows, smile, legs, feet, little shadows under them, um, and arm waving. And those are the guys on the second page. Then these guys we're going to color a little different. I'm going to start with coloring the first one blue. And then I'm going to color my middle one yellow and my last one red. But where they overlap, I want to make sure that it is the color that is mixed there. So if you remember, when you mix yellow and blue, you get green. So in between the yellow and blue, I'm going to have it green. I'm using colored pencils, so it, colored pencils will mix a little bit on their own. You notice I'm using the yellow colored pencil right over top of the blue and it's already looking green. So you can use colored pencils if you have them and they work really great. You won't get the same effect like that uh, with markers as well. But markers will still work great so you can still use them for this project or you could use crayons too. Whatever you have is great. Color those guys in so that you have um, one of them blue, one yellow, and one red. Now if you switch the order of them, that could switch what their middle color is because I don't know if you remember or not, but um, red and blue make purple and if you notice I don't have red next to blue here so it will not make purple for me so if you want purple in this mix then you may want to switch the order of your guys and remember you can color the letters in but instead of coloring my letters I'm just going to get started on our last page remember the last page will not go on that next page right there across from the fold we will grab our second piece of paper we will fold that by matching up the corners and making a hamburger fold. And then we are going to put this on the front of that paper like we did with our first page. In this page, hopefully you saved the one, there are three secondary colors is what we're going to put down here. So glue all over the back, rub it down real quick, and then we will get started with putting our three little circles on. Once again, if you did not like using the circles, you could always draw them on yourself. I just thought it might make life a little bit easier for you. So you glue each circle on wherever you may like it on the page. Now we will start creating our last set of little creatures. I will start again by drawing a hat on the top one, just a little dome hat and a little line on it. And I'm gonna put a little flower out from it. All of these are optional things. A little brim on the hat, um, two eyes, with eyeballs looking over at number three because I thought that'd be cool. A little nose and a nice little smile. So any of these options that I'm drawing, you can or cannot draw them, whatever you feel like doing for your little creatures. I want my little guy reaching over to number three. And then for the next one, I am going to draw a sideways facing baseball cap. 
because um, I think that the secondary colors would think of themselves as cooler than the primary colors. So I want these guys to look really cool. And so draw some lines on there to show it looks like a baseball cap and then little eyes, nose, and mouth, and um, arms and legs. And then I will start drawing my last baseball cap there, making the bill look a little bit different with coloring the underneath of it. I think that way it looks a little cooler. And then I will add a little bit of design to his hat. And then I will, you know, do what we have been doing, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the feet, and then the hands, and that he's so excited that he's a secondary color. Woohoo! And I hope you remember your secondary colors, green, purple, and orange. That's what we will be coloring these guys, because they're in the secondary page. So you can choose which one you want to color, which color, or maybe you want to try to do some kind of mix of them. So now you take your first page and you slide your second page in it and refold, and now you have the start of your little book. Next time we get together, we will make another page for our book. Isn't it looking cute so far? I'm so excited for us to do this together, to review what we've learned and to learn more together. <laughs>